Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Benny Childs, founder of the Teach Me the Fish Effects training community, and I'm back with another inspirational video. This is part two of my uh, GBP JPY uh, trade analysis breakdown, and I'm back just to give you guys an update. Uh, our TP3 uh, take profit three uh, has been hit uh, again. I did not uh, get into the trade fully at the exact position uh, that I uh, should have. So everything kind of got thrown off. Um, so again, just to go over, uh, just to go over the trade, um, I'm coming off of this uh, zone here down at the bottom here, okay? Um, and so this is a higher time frame zone and I take my, uh, I do my confirmations and entries on my, on the four hour and, or, uh, the one hour. Uh, but seeing that it was coming off, uh, of the zone, I came to my chart and I drew my Fibonacci from, uh, this low to this high. Okay. Uh, and after doing that, I saw that I had a 61.8% uh, rejection, okay? And I entered the trade in a, around this area right here, all right? Uh, I did experience some drawdown, uh, but we finally got a push uh, up into profit um, uh, last night. Uh, so... Uh, typically what happens is if I take, uh, I'm usually looking for my entries to be around my 61.8% entry or 78.6% uh, entry. And if I do that, I typically take the 0% as my TP1. And what I would do is take partial uh, profit and move my entry to break even. Um, so uh, when I woke up this morning, uh, I saw that TP3 had uh, been hit. So what I did was I did take partial profit. And again, this is a, a relatively small account. Um, I entered the trade off of a $1. And so my partial profit was 30 cents. So I did close. Um, 30 cents, uh, 30 cent of the trade, uh, to, uh, bank, uh, $11 and nine, two cents minus the spread and, uh, broker fees. Uh, and so, uh, from there, I'm just letting, uh, I'm just letting it run. Uh, again, typically what I do is 0% is my take profit one. As long as well as uh, me breaking even, okay, or uh, moving my stop loss to break even. So I typically will take partial profit here. Then I take more partial profit at TP2, more partial profit at uh, TP3, okay, and then typically, um, depending on how the market. Uh, is reacting once I get to uh, TP4 I will take profit again uh, take excuse me take partial profit again and let the rest run um, in this particular trade I actually on my computer I have a trailing stop uh, that will be initiated at TP4 uh, um, so um, once that takes place, uh, let me go to a higher time frame. You guys can see where I'm actually looking to take full profit at this uh, higher uh, higher time frame uh, supply zone that I have here. Um, and looking at my computer, that's about uh, 139 pips, that final uh, take profit will be a total of 139 pips. Uh, the TP4 that I have set is about 68 pips. I'm currently 50 pips uh, in profit right now. 
currently about 50 pips uh, in profit right now. So uh, again, this is a relatively small account. You guys know how you guys know how I am. I really want to encourage you guys not to over leverage uh, your account and just be patient. Remember, we, we are investing. OK, if we are investing and in, investing takes time. Yes, you can come in here over leverage, put a standard on a thousand dollar account, cross your fingers, hope that it goes in your way, uh, goes your way for a few pips and close out. Yes, you can do that. But again, you guys know my mentality. You guys know uh, the vision that I have. And it's, it's really to help and transform our mindsets. OK. Um, and just not always look for uh, the quick dollar. OK. All right. Just don't over leverage your account. OK. Do not over leverage your account. Um, I tell you guys you could either do a uh, half a one percent lot size or you can do the 1000 pip rule right now I I'm exercising the 1000 pip rule okay uh, which is basically I want to go in at a lot size that it will take the market a thousand pips to totally wipe me out okay and if you're using proper uh, market structure and uh, proper account risk management uh, you should not be risking a thousand pips okay um, unless you're going to make a minimum of two thousand pips so that's a one to two okay so but back back to this trade so I just want to show you guys uh, that uh, that we are running into some structure uh, here so I do Kind of expect the kind of uh, hesitation that we're we're getting in the market. Okay, and we may not fully go all the way to um, our final our final take profit. So um, what I'm gonna do actually, guys, is drop down, and I actually I, I need to be taking partial profit here and moving my stop loss uh, up a, up a bit. So. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna actually leave my stop loss there and just take off, uh, take off a little more, um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, go close the order and I want to leave about um, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave 50 cent I'm gonna leave 50 cent running uh, on it so I'm gonna close out uh, 20 cent in profit okay yep there we go so we left to that and so this is basically this is how this is how you guys would this is how you would manage this is how you guys would manage your trade so um and what i'm going to do is based on this one hour structure here go ahead and move my stop loss further up in the profit so 152.844 let's edit that 152.8 um i'll leave that 840 let's modify that bam okay all right so we moved it up a little bit more uh a little bit more in profit uh just below this one hour zone here so um as of right now um we have we have an imbalance here that may need to be filled. We have an imbalance here that may needs to be filled. Um, I mean, we do have a really, really small one 
here that I doubt if the market is going to come back because it actually had a chance to fill that before it moved too, too far up. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, let me make sure my trailing stop. Yeah, my trailing stop is not there. So, because of me modifying the uh, closing partial profits on my, so we're going to put that at 68 pips, trailing stop custom, and I'm actually here, um, 68 pips, okay, I'm actually here at my desk, so I'm on my, I'm doing a video here on my phone, but I'm actually here at my desk, so I'm able to, to do that, all right, so, uh, let me see, I don't see the, I don't see my screen recorder, I don't see my screen recorder uh, options on the screen, because I, I would go ahead and um, show you guys my monitor, uh, but yeah, nonetheless, so again, this is the uh, GBP JPY. Uh, trade analysis, uh, breakdown, follow-up, part two. I don't know what I'm going to name it, but I hope this has been inspirational uh, to you guys. I hope uh, there has been some type of uh, insight for you guys on how to manage your trades and things of that nature. If you guys are interested in learning exactly how it is that I, myself, trade uh, supply and demand, uh, my my confirmations, my entries, and things of that nature, um, my um, multi-time frame analysis. If you're interested in that, then I encourage you guys to head over to the teaspoonoffishereffects.com and uh, sign up. Yeah, sign up, join the mentorship, and um, we'll we'll do our best to to help you in your trading. Okay. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, if you are a uh, if you have not done so make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you uh, uh, like this video make sure you comment uh, the video and if you dislike the video um, then you should hit that down or dislike button twice all right make sure you hit it twice if you dislike the video make sure you hit that uh, dislike button twice. All right, guys, I really appreciate you again. Always remember, if you stay in God, you will stay in control. Until next time, happy pit fishing.